It's vlogging day 1133! <laughs> Good morning. Up earlier today, the sun looks like it's gonna be just as brutally bright today, but it's not gonna get me because I'm gonna get out of here before it gets above the rooftops. I'm gonna head down, grab coffee, and try to write a little bit this morning. I slept really lightly last night, so I'm a little bit like, ah. Eh but that's okay. Today will be a great day. I'm going to uh, do that. See Jenica for, I think, well, whenever she wakes up. She's been waking up pretty late. She's been staying up late working and adjusting to the time zone. There's a combination of things there, so might not see her till a little bit later. We'll see, uh, but she also gets to have a haircut today. I made a haircut appointment for her. I don't know if I've ever made a haircut appointment in French before, to be honest. I think I went back when I had hair. I just walked in and got it done, so that was a new experience, but aside from that, uh, yeah, probably see her at least before, if not after that. And of course, I'm going to enjoy riding my bike down. I'm trying to think, the other thing that was planned for today was to see Natasha and chat with her a little bit about what's going on with her new book that's coming out in not too long. And unfortunately, I'm not going to get to see her today. Uh, we had to postpone our plans, so I don't get any Natasha time, which is kind of sad. But that's okay, because I do know what I, I need to get some blue sticky tacks so I can stick to the foam to the... So basically, I'll show you at the office. Uh, oh. Device state is locked. Enter reason combo key. Wait, what? I can select different menus. Okay, so we have a problem. Uh, oh, maybe I can hit the start button here. I've never seen this fast boot mode before. My phone stopped working. Um, maybe. Mostly. I'm gonna get this figured out. The problem is I don't have my laptop here to do any research to figure out how to get this start back up, but basically, I, uh, I rebooted my phone because the Bluetooth wasn't uh, connecting and I'd like to listen to some music as I ride my bicycle. I like to ride my bicycle. Why aren't you starting up though? So now I, um, oh, maybe if I go power off. No, crud. Okay, well, this is the problem with uh, splitting your life up and leaving your work at the offices. Now I don't have a way of figuring out how to fix this problem. I'll figure it out. More things to do today. <laughs> I think I got it. I think. At least it's showing me the Google screen for a really long time. Great. <laughs> did I met that before? Yes. I probably yeah. did. They're just going over her uh, her photos right now. They've done a whole bunch more, and they, the ones I've seen look really good. The ones that they did with her, they do look really good. You know, I'm not just saying that because you're sitting there. They do. They look great. So they'll be exciting to share. I'll throw I'll throw a couple of the ones that they sent me up as previews, and you can go see the rest on the Instagrams. I really don't know what to do with myself right now. I was gonna write this morning, and this I'm happening. And running really low on the steam front. Well, I'll go. I think I'm gonna putter today. And let there be light. let there be light. I don't know. And there was light, something along those lines. And yet more light. Hold on. Close the old door here. I have a handful of things that I forgot I had going on here. One, thank you, Steve slash Sonia, for the postcard. Steve Weaver, if you're watching, patron of mine, who happened to, I think he's a patron of Sonia's as well, and he won a little competition and sent this from the West Coast via Sonia. This is like a hand-drawn, one-of-a-kind postcard that'll be worth millions one day. So I'm gonna go ahead and find it a nice home over here. I also got a postcard of a donkey from the Canary Islands from my friend Davey. She's in Las Palmas which is really exciting, so that's really cool to see. She was in Las Palmas, I should say. She's a nurse on the ship. She's a very responsible person uh, who I, is a good friend of mine who I've known for a really long time. And uh, yeah, I might go visit her and some other friends in Singapore, in the not too distant future, not Singapore. <sighs> My brain's not working. I'm gonna go visit them on the ship possibly though, in the not too distant future. In the meantime, this is from my cousin. It's like, are these photos? Ooh. Oh, holy snaps. My cousin's getting married. Save the date, everybody. Mikey's getting married. Oh, that's really cute. That's a really good photo. This is, is this a magnet? Is that what this is? I need something to throw it against. Okay, I don't have any uh, good metallic objects to stick that to, Mike. I'll put it on my fridge at home. That's really exciting. What, what date was that in? Oh, good grief. That's coming up quick. I better buy some plane tickets. That's really exciting, I'm looking forward to that. Uh, my cousin, for those of you who don't know, ooh, a little bit more light. My cousin is, he's one of my, I was gonna say oldest cousins, which is actually not even technically true. He's one of my youngest cousins, but uh, 
good guy. Really, really love him. And uh, his soon to be wife is amazing. And I'm pretty excited that they got together. So that is heartwarming and exciting. And uh, I totally want to go to their wedding. Okay. I haven't been to a wedding in a while. I'm missing out on a bunch of weddings this summer, unfortunately, in the States, including in September, because I just didn't know what was going on with my life. And then I have family coming to visit me in September here. And so I uh, feel kind of sad that I'm missing out on some of those weddings. Matt, if you're watching this, congratulations again. Um, so good to have one coming up when my calendar is kind of clear to, yeah, make some plans in, in, in advance. Do I have any other mail for the mail call? I do, hold on. I didn't even say or sing mail call. What's wrong with me? Eric Norris, who's apparently involved in the drip kit here of some, this is like a self brewing system. Comes with like one, oh, the, the, brew, the, the brewing thing is inside. So it's like one cup of coffee with a brewing system. If you're interested in checking out the drip kit, they've got Stumptown coffee here. I'm gonna give this a try soon. I don't wanna do it alone. I, since there are two of them, I'll definitely share it with a friend. And then this is the note from Jose. Jose is the guy that gave us the coffee that we tried yesterday with Vlad. And Vlad's not there today, so we can't try a second round of that. It was good. He wants to master the brewing element. At first, we were worried because it's actually uh, past an ex it's pa well past its ex expiration date, like it's best used by, but it, it was fine. It was good. Let that be a lesson to you. Best, best buy dates aren't always necessarily true. I mean, maybe we're missing out on a much larger experience. I don't know. But then there's one more thing. Oh yeah. I already started opening this. It is another disposable camera because I lost them, I'm guessing. I didn't know where they were for a long time. And uh, John Buchan, Bu am I saying that right, John? on a photo supply stationery, which is amazing. Send me this note. I hope this is useful in continuing the postcards. I can send more if you like. They also sell black and white. Whoa, that's kind of cool. So let me know. I Dude, if you want to send me a black and white camera, John, that would be super cool. I want to do I want to do more than just the postcards with the, these cameras. I have some I have some ideas. I really want to get a Polaroid. What I want is an, I, I also want to may I this is not don't don't worry about sending me one. You just made me think about the fact that I don't know if you guys follow Casey Neistat at all, but he's uh, obviously my um, vlogging. He's the genre master of what I do and like my YouTube spiritual mentor. I kind of want to start the Polaroid tradition of like taking pictures of people that come to the office and putting it up on the walls and collecting like Polaroids. I think that'd be really, really cool. I want to get on that soon. That's not to say you need to send me one. I just need to, I just need to, to remember that and buy one. But if you would like to send me a black and white one, this appears to have made it in good condition. Uh, and your, your rap job, forget who it was. Somebody, somebody guessed what it was before I opened it. It is truly rewarding participating through Patreon and seeing your channel grow. John, you're the best. Thank you so much. That's so nice. You're from Vancouver, BC. So you know, the guy knows his cameras really, Really appreciate it. Vancouver, by the way, beautiful city that I need to get back to because I've not been there in a long, long time, despite growing up on just the other side of the border. Okay, that's me. I'm gonna put this with the pile. We'll use, I'll use this one next. And this is this one's gonna be a different experience because it is not expired, unlike all the rest of them. The expired, the expired ness of them is kind of charming, but that'll be good. So we have, I think that's everything we got through. I need to make a trash pile. I'm gonna sit and putter because there are a lot of things that I feel like if I just sat at my computer and stared at it for a while would be resolved, including some reflection for next week because next week is the last week of the vlog and I'm feeling, you know when you get to the end of a race and the last mile is the hardest? That is how I'm feeling right now and have been feeling for last week. So I wanna take some time to reflect and make sure that my last week of vlogging is as good as it can be. Because I do feel like I've kind of dropped the ball a little bit the last few days and I don't wanna do that anymore. I wanna, I wanna make the best possible vlogs possible. Possible, the best possible vlogs possible. So if you don't mind hanging out and waiting to see how that all turns out, I'm looking forward to it. Unfortunately, the art's not gonna be done in time. The office won't be finished before the vlog is over. I won't have finished losing 20 pounds before the vlog is over. Uh, there are so many goals yet to come. There's so much yet to share and to see that I'm really excited for what's coming next and I'm really excited to find, figure out the new formats and experiment a little bit, play with some things, see how it goes. I'm really looking forward to sharing some other things with you that I haven't even had a chance to share yet, things that I shouldn't share yet because they're not even you know fully finished or finalized, but I am really, 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 really excited for what is to come and I can't wait to share it with you and I hope that you'll be here with me as well. Uh, and yeah, I'm also really excited to have my sister and brother-in-law come visit me. It's so exciting. I love them. I can't wait to see them. Okay, I am going to sit and putter. There's a chance Oliver will come by later, in which case I will shove his face in the vlog. Maybe I'll end up going out for a stroll of some sort with Jenica, which would be great as well. And if not, um, I might wrap it up here. I might wrap it up later, but just in case I'm wrapping it up here, I hope I see you bright and early tomorrow morning for yet one more wonderful Saturdays in Paris. 
And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just excited for the future. Life is really good. I'm, I'm really tired, but life is really good. And I can't wait to see what comes next. That's my whole story. I'll see you tomorrow.